Hi, this is Edward. And the question of the day is, how hard are these courses? Coming up. Chronos Matrix, focus on what matters most. Visually keep your goals in check and create new goals so you can stay on schedule. Watch your daily, weekly, and monthly results to stay focused. Free time optimization app. Welcome back. And this is a question I've been getting quite a bit, which uh, was a, a, a pretty, pretty frightening surprise for me a, um, a, about a year and a half ago when I really, really got into some of the courses that I didn't have a background for. So um, long story short, they are very, very hard courses, but everything also depends on what's your background, right? So if you're coming in, you know, with the whole mantra of, oh, I'm going to learn the code. I have no idea what I'm doing here with the, uh, um, as far as programming goes. And I just want to get, you know, a graduate degree because I already have a bachelor's. This is not going to be a cakewalk in any sense of the word. It is one of the most difficult courses I've ever gone through, um, whether you compare it online or, you know, on campus, every class that I've been taking um, in OMSCS is comparable to one of the most difficult courses I've ever taken anywhere else. So there are maybe a handful of, of, uh, of courses that at the moment aren't really bad, but um, those are going to be getting much more difficult also because the more people that you know complain about it, because there's going to be a lot of people that already have 10, 20 years of experience, they take um, one of these courses, and for them, it's like it, it's a no-brainer, right? They just you know knock it out of the park with maybe just a couple of hours a week, kind of a deal. So those are the one. You know, these are the people that start putting uh, reviews online and saying, "Oh, it's just you know such an easy class," but they're not putting in what reference that they have, right? So I've seen classes that. Uh, maybe a couple of years ago, you know, we're going to be much easier. And the way they're set up now, it's like, unless you have like a background in that particular um, programming language, or you have a lot of experience programming, you're not going to get through the course, right? So I haven't seen too many courses that are easy if you don't have some form of help. Now, sadly, there might be some classes that if you have a family member or a friend or maybe just a lot of money that you, you can just hire somebody else to do the work. There's going to be some courses that maybe you can do it like that where you just hire somebody else or you just get somebody else to actually do the work for you. Those are very, very uh, few in number as far as the courses you're going to be taking. Almost every, every course here, there's going to be tests. There's going to be different projects. There's going to be a handful of different things that you're going to have to do and do all of them um, rather well that I think it would be also kind of strange, right? If you're, if you're getting complete, you know, hundred uh, percent um, grades in, 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 in the coding part of, uh, of a course, and then you're completely flatlining on all the tests, I think that would look a little bit strange, but I don't know. I, for what I've seen, the people that have a, a really difficult time just getting through the first couple of projects, uh, a couple of assignments in any of these courses, don't end up lasting throughout the semester. They usually drop um, and drop pretty early after just a couple of weeks because they know it's like if, if they can't hack it through the first month, they're not going to they're just not going to survive to the end, uh, end of the uh, end of the course. And if they, you know, decide on continuing and thinking, well, no matter what, I'll pass it. And then they end up getting a, a D or an F. It's going to take them so many semesters to get you know that GPA back up, which is that's my my ultimate gripe with uh, with this um, educational system. It's like you're, you, you'd expect that if you take a class again, it would, you know, you could just um, substitute the new grade for the old one, right? It, I mean, it makes sense when it comes to what, you know, you, what you're learning, yeah. any form of education. If you understand how to do something better, you would think it's like, well, that would completely go on top of you know, what came before, right? But not in this system. So if you do badly in a course, it's gonna infect your entire GPA. So you're absolutely motivated to drop and drop quickly, right? So, and I always recommend if by the time the withdrawal period uh, um, is coming up, if you don't have at least a solid B in a course that you're not that comfortable in, 
I would say you might consider dropping. If you're getting even close to the C at that point, it's just going to get harder from there. I have not seen yet a course that was really difficult in the beginning and then just became blindingly easy as uh, I moved along. Now, some courses do have, you know, um, team projects. So maybe you're lucky enough to have a team that kind of, you know, saves you in, in other areas, but you could also have the reverse, right? It's like, it's a, in my SCB, uh, um, course, <laughs> the, uh, the team I had, it's like, I, I was basically the only one um, doing the entire project that we didn't get to choose who, um, who our, who our uh, teammates were, right? So they kind of just shoved us in and to the other guys didn't actually know how to program in Java. So I was stuck with somebody else. And then, you know, that guy uh, went on hiatus. I don't even know if he ended up going through the course, but basically for the team project, it was all me. And then they added, um, cause I took it in the summer, right? And before they didn't have the individual project. And me. So again, people were saying, yeah, it's an easy course. And think about it, that is a course that's like, if you could easily get through that class, not knowing Java initially, and then got, you know, a good team. It's like, that's a course that if you did that in the summer, you could go in not really knowing um, Java too well, kind of half-assing the, uh, uh, the course towards the, uh, towards the middle and then getting in the team project and then you would have passed. But then they incorporated the individual uh, project, which before they did it. So now all summer classes, this is what I'm saying, they keep just making the courses harder. Before, and by before, I mean like just relatively a year ago for what other students have been telling me, um, the summer course, since it was a condensed, it was instead of four months, it was three months, they would leave certain parts of the course out. Right. So like that, that's a, that's a great example for SDP. They didn't include the, uh, the individual project before. So you could kind of, you know, squeeze through, probably get a B and it's like, you didn't even have a background in, uh, in, in Java, never developed in, um, you know, an Android before, but now you can't right now. It's like, they've set it up where you need to really know what you're doing in Android. You're not going to get through it. Cause even we buy with the, with the team project, the last couple of, of uh, projects are definitely difficult if you've never done anything like that before. And then you're building, you know, a, a, an entire system with really difficult, you, you know, core. Um, I mean, towards the end of that, it's like, I was basically guessing, right? So, cause they don't show you what, what, what the, uh, um, what the inputs are and you have to just base on what, what, what the, uh, what the test cases, you know, what the outputs is. you just have to guess what <laughs> that one was pretty bad. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. I, I, I did as well as I did tor towards the end of, uh, that one. But again, had I not had my background, you know, as, as an Android developer, it's like, w was I going to, no, there was just no way. Whereas maybe a year or two years ago, I would have been able to get through that class. Um, you know, w without breaking too much of a sweat, these courses just keep getting harder. So that's another thing I recommend. It's like, if you want to be part of the program, get it into suit as you can, cause they're just going to keep rocking. <laughs> they're just going to keep making it more and more difficult. Um, and there's a lot of reasons for them to do so, right? It's like, it shows how, how difficult and how legit their program is. If it's, if it's hard, right? Cause if it's just easy, I get through it. You know, there's uh, there's other online courses that it's like, I know people that don't even have a CS background and they're getting A's, right? They're just doing tests and they're just knocking it out of the park. I'm like, okay, how difficult when somebody barely even has an understanding of what they're doing when it comes to programming and they're getting A's in this online uh, um, education. I mean, that says a lot, right? With OMS CS, if you don't know what you're doing, you're not going to get through. It's, it's just that easy. The system will filter you out pretty, pretty quickly. Now, if you don't know what you do, you're doing at least initially, but you keep trying it, you keep working on it. Can you get to the point where it's like, you're really showing off your skills and building it? Yeah. And I think that's the point of them, you know, making this, you know, such a, a, a long, uh, um, kind of degree, right? I mean, six years to, you know, get a degree. I mean, that's, that's a lot of time for them to allow you to finish the, uh, the program. And I think that's also part of it. So either you're a professional that's like, you know, well, we just don't have time. So it's like, you know, the, the, there's some semesters I just have to take off. There's just too many other things that I'm, I'm working on at the moment. And then other times where I'm like, okay, let me just stack two um, courses on top of each other and, you know, see if I can uh, make it through um, till next semester. The fact that, you know, you have that kind of ability to either go really slow or move really quickly. It's like that, that's, uh, that's all Q. 
huge benefit. So I just want to say, don't think this is going to be, you know, easy. It really isn't. Any person who even says that it's easy has already put in the 10,000 hours, right? They already have a lot, a lot of experience um, in coding. Um, in the language that's being used, they've already developed apps, they've already worked with teams, because that, that's one of the bigger problems that, that I've had um, up to this point. It's like, I'm not used to working with teams. It's like all the projects I've, I've worked on, I'm always working on my own. Even when I've worked in, uh, um, for different companies, I'm usually this whole you know, programmer, developer, I'm usually working in you know, smaller, uh, uh, smaller companies where it's like it's you know, one man show kind of a thing where I'm pretty much uh, doing everything on my own. So for me, that's actually been one of the biggest benefits of doing these, these uh, courses where I'm working with the team. So it's like I have better ideas. It's like, well, how to, you know, how are you breaking you know, components down? How are you sharing the code with everyone else? I have to be very, so even though I didn't think I was gonna get that part, I thought I was just gonna get better at, you know, data structures, better at, you know, um, different aspects of, of programming and coding in general, which I mean, yes, of course, that is part of it too. But there's other aspects of it that I didn't think was gonna be getting as much of a benefit, but it's like, I'm, I'm really glad that, you know, that I have, right? So working um, in teams, even though a lot of people complain um, um, quite a bit about that, I think it's been one of the most helpful parts of it. And again, since I've had to do video chats, um, group phone conversations, it's been the, basically it's the only uh, time that you're gonna be interacting with other people, right? So it's like, I, I think it's great. I, I think the, uh, the team projects are great. The only, the only issue I really kind of see with it is in some classes, you might be doing, you know, the bulk of the work. Whereas in others, you know, it might be some, uh, someone else. It's like there, there's other, uh, uh, other courses where, you know, maybe it actually helps out, right? That's like some other team members know more in that particular area and they can, you know, do more of the work while you're working on, especially like when you're doing like two courses at the same time, right? It's like that also might be helpful. So every person's situation is gonna be um, quite relative. But um, from my experience, the only people I've seen that go through this program and just say, oh yeah, it, it was a cakewalk or people that already had the 10, 20 years of, uh, of experience. You know, businesses uh, literally just came here to, um, you know, just to get the degree and show that they know what they're doing. The other ones, right, like uh, uh, ones I mentioned before, where it's like they're, they're just doing it just for the knowledge, just to learn. So, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll stick around for many, uh, uh, many years. They, um, you know, they're going at it for a different, um, they're on a different path anyway, right? So even though they might not have a background in certain courses or they just want to get really, um, really deep in, into a certain subject, they have the time to do it, right? So, which is, for the most part, it's just not the case for most people that, I, that I've seen going through the program. So based on that, you have to recognize it's going to be very hard. Some of these classes, you're not going to make it through. You're going to have to take it a, a, a couple of times. Um, so if you just need a quick degree, I would recommend, you know, checking out other, other uh, online options. But if you know this is what you want and this is, you know, the, uh, the path you want to take, um, your, your uh, particular uh, field, right? If, if you want to do computer science, because there's a, a, other, uh, other types of uh, CS degrees that you can get. But I think, you know, if you're going for computing systems, if you're going for machine learning or AI, it's, it's I don't know of another program that I would recommend more um, than Georgia Tech's OMSES. At least for now, maybe some other universities come out with some amazing, amazing uh, work. But well, either way, we're the first, right? <laughs> so hope that helps and I'll talk to you in the next one.